Good morning and welcome back to Boris and Natasha wheeling and dealing. As always, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, today's going to be another little uh, regular day for a reseller. Uh, we have a couple items here we need to drop off at the post office. Uh, and then we're going to head on over to a Goodwill uh, that we haven't been to in a couple weeks now. So uh, let's uh, head on out and see what we can find. So I decided to come over to the electronic section first, just to shake it up a little bit. Why not? There's something different. And not anything too great, but let me know if you feel otherwise. All right. I'm keep looking now. That looks super cool. Maybe missing the top, not really sure. Put that in the cart for now while we're looking. Kind of liking this Campbell's mug as well. Uh, why did I get obsessed with mugs? Oh well, I'm gonna keep looking, I don't care. You know, one thing I am looking for when it comes to mugs, I'm trying to talk well showing you what they have here. I'd love to find an old like IBM or Apple mug. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Not sure if I'd want to sell it if I did find it, but I know some of those guys are going for good money. So you never know. All right, let me know if you see anything here. All right, guys, we are out of Goodwill, and uh, we got quite a bit of things here. Um, not too excited about most of the stuff. A lot of it's just kind of average, plain Jane, stuff to kind of fill the shelves, uh, so to speak. Still stuff we can make profit on, but uh, no huge home runs. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm really excited about, we'll get this home, clean this up, is this fishing reel here. So uh, I'll share with you uh, the like the model number when we get back to the house. But uh, it does need to be cleaned up, but it does appear to be working. Um, I did a quick search. I think I found some pretty good sold comps and, and ones that are listed. So uh, pretty excited about that. So uh, we'll head home now, get everything laid out. All right, guys, we're back at the house and uh, we're going to go over everything we at the Goodwill. Uh, first, I want to give a quick shout out to Pac-Man Picking. Uh, he goes by that on eBay as well as on Instagram. I will throw up a screenshot. He was actually our first official sale that we made from a viewer. Uh, he saw something that we had in a, a video recently, reached out to me separately on Instagram, uh, and asked if we could uh, sell it to him directly. And we, of course, we did. We accepted uh, an offer, and I'll throw up a screenshot of what he purchased. Uh, we got that shipped out, and he just told me yesterday he received those items in good condition. He's super happy about it. So thank you so much, uh, Pac-Man Pickin', for uh, per making a purchase with us. We really do appreciate that. So, um, Tal, the first thing I'll go over is got a whole bunch of these posters, as you can see right in front of us. Uh, they're in these pack here. It was $2.99 for all, I believe it's four of them. Uh, when I saw them, I didn't know what they were because I, I couldn't open it. So I said, you know, let me just take a chance on it. I had a feeling about it, and I'm glad I did. So the first one here, as you can see, it's uh, Blackest Night. Um, it is folded up, um, and, but I did find a sold comp, which I'll throw up in the corner here. Uh, I believe it was $29.90. Uh, there don't, doesn't seem to be too many of these available, um, and all the ones I have seen have all been folded, just like the one you see here. So I was a little worried about that uh, when I first saw that. But uh, And then just kind of more along the same lines here, uh, this one is a Batman and Robin one, uh, 2010. As you can kind of see there at the corner. Uh, if anyone has any ideas about these, I'm not really sure what this one may be worth. I couldn't find any sold comps or anything listed as well. Uh, this one's really cool here, the Man of Steel, Superman. Uh, there's no date on this one here, but uh, just a really cool graphic. So um, any help with this would be greatly appreciated. So appreciated. Uh, another uh, Blackest Night 
uh, poster here as well. This one also was from 2010. And um, I didn't find a sold comp, but I did find one that was up for sale. I think it was like $30 plus shipping, but I'll throw up a screenshot. So uh, really cool find for $2.99. I'm happy with it. So uh, I guess here's the rest of this stuff here. I'm going to get too much, uh, but we do have at least one heavy hitter in here, uh, which we'll go through. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but we got this little magic school bus here. Super cool, 1998. Um, we did pay $4.99 for this. Uh, I believe we have this listed now for about, uh, I think, $35, uh, something like that. We picked up this Winnie the Pooh plush, $2.99. Um, this is vintage. I think this was in the 90s as well. Um, Natasha got this listed, or at least in a draft mode, for, I believe, uh, $30 or $40. I can't remember. But I'll throw up a screenshot if I, if I remember. Uh, we got a couple Campbell's mugs here. I just love these. They're not all that valuable. This is, we got it for $1.99. I just love the graphics on it. They were in really good condition. And I think this is like an Andy Warhol kind of a design on that one. And that was 99 cents, as you can see. So uh, we got those two mugs. Uh, these, this two set here of the Polar Express Believe mugs. We got these for $1.99 each, I think. Uh, these are listed for about $20 total. Uh, we got this another little mug here. Really kind of cute little one. I think this one is about sisters. Yep, it's coming at the top. Uh, we got this Nemo little plush here. I'm not sure which he has just listed for. We got that for 99 cents. Uh, this, I don't really know what the heck this is. It's something used for, for babies to clip on, maybe pacifiers. I'm not really sure, but um, it just looked extremely unique. Uh, we paid $1.99 for it. Um, Obviously, it has, uh, I'm not really sure what kind of writing that is exactly, but I'm not even going to attempt to guess. Couldn't find anything on eBay for it, uh, so uh, Natasha and I talked about it, and we just listed it for 30 bucks. There's not another one on eBay, so if someone wants it and they need it for their collection, uh, it's 30 bucks. Um, the last thing here I guess we'll talk about, we did get that Gatorade little ice thing back there. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, we may just keep that. I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but it did save us from having to buy a bag because uh, it did hold the rest of the stuff you see here. So uh, the big hitter is this guy right here, this fishing reel. Uh, did good on the last one uh, that we we bought. Uh, this one is $2.99. As you can see, it's model ABU505. Uh, did some research on this. We found kind of numbers all over the board from you know, 170 to up to, I think, 280. Obviously, condition plays a big part. Uh, but we found one that was in really similar condition, um, which in this case, it's not bad. I'm going to clean it up. It's going to look really good. Um, there's no dents or cracks or anything like that. And it's all intact, and it does spin freely. So uh, we're going to list that guy for uh, $199.99. And I think that's already in draft mode. So once we're done with this video here, I'll clean her up. Uh, take some pictures and get that fully posted on eBay. So all in all, pretty good haul. I'm um, super happy about this guy. If anyone knows anything about those posters, please let me know. I uh, greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you so much to Pac-Man Pickin'. Uh, this will be the end of the video here. So until next time, peace and love.